What's up kids? Uncle Jacob's gonna talk about some sneakers today. Yeah, we're gonna get more serious now. It was the off-white Converse Chuck Taylor release. And it it went bad. It was a very messy event, to say the least. And for and for me personally, I am not gonna line up at Off White Manila ever again because it was poorly handled. From the Instagram post that did not post the the sizing and the price for, to to the actual event itself. It wasn't organized. My friend and I, we went to the event. As soon as we got dropped off, there was, a, there was already a, a somewhat of a commotion because people were calling out other people for staying in line with the police. Yeah, the police was there. They were trying to get the, uh, the people in line out. There was no fight, just a lot of ignorant name calling. <laughs> It was really toxic. The line that was being called out, they did not break. They were just escorted to another place. And my friend and I, we went to that line and we waited there for around two and a half hours. The release of the shoe was at 11. I forgot to mention that. So we were in line for two hours. We were waiting with a couple of people. And there were even some people trying to cut in line and some people were trying to say that they were not cutting in line so more chaos in in that in our own little line which is being managed by the police we thought we were on the side of right but turns out it wouldn't matter so around 10 30 we were brought back to the original waiting area and we were a lot of people we were a lot of people in that line only to find out that the people who were calling the, the line that we were in out for not breaking, they were still there. And they formed another line right outside the store. So there are two lines, and as I, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, we thought we were on the line of right, but it didn't matter because the off-white management came out and they said, we will try to accommodate both lines. It was really bad. And the reason why it was bad was it would zigzag in a way like one person goes in from our line the next person would go in from their line it was it would be super messy it would be messier than it already was in my opinion what they could have done instead of first come first serve make it a raffle the chances of of people winning are less i mean not everyone's gonna get the pair but it's more organized. There wouldn't be big ass rally or not really rally, but there wouldn't be chaos outside. There wouldn't be people trying to push each other to get in. It wouldn't look like a zombie apocalypse movie other than that. The police with the Mega Man helmet on, you know those guys with the big ass white Mega Man helmet on and the and the and the bad cop shade you had those types of enforcer cops if it comes to that the, those types of cops are coming into the scene it, it, it's gonna you know that something ugly might break out they launched the size list we didn't even find out this the pricing of the shoe from them we found out from a guy that bought the shoe and it was 12,000 pesos which is around 222 dollars which is way way above the original retail price the sizes were finally announced and I didn't have a size. 11 was sold out immediately. They didn't have a 12, even though I think they, from what I heard that they claimed they had a 12. People were getting cautious because they, there was news of backdoor pickups and VIP priority. So 38 pairs left of the public, one person per line, chaos. My final thoughts are, I'm not going back to Off-White Manila, but it it was a good story to tell. And for me, I think that was the most important takeout. Off-White Manila is not that great of a store, in my own opinion. And 
I felt like I was finally able to share quite an interesting story, at least in my perspective, and I was finally able to share my thoughts on a crazy event that just went wrong really quickly. If anyone is watching, enjoy your day, have good vibes, stereotypical good you good boy close out on a video. Good boy. <laughs> and shout out to Newport.